Throughout the Olympics, we are highlighting athletes who have paved the way for others in our Breaking Barrier segment. And Billie Jean King is an all-time tennis great and holder of 39 Grand Slam titles. She's also a trailblazer and equal prize pay for women. And we're taking a look at how the former pro tennis player became a torchbearer for equality and social justice. Billie Jean Moffitt grew up in California. She picked up tennis at 11 when her parents wanted her to try, quote, a ladylike sport. She took right to it, and by her teenage year, she was one of the best youth tennis players on the West Coast. Her big breakthrough came in 1961 as a 17-year-old when Moffitt won the women's Wimbledon doubles title. In 1965, Billie Jean married her college boyfriend, Larry King, a lawyer, just as her career was taking off. And take off it did. In 1972 alone, she won the U.S. Open, French Open, and Wimbledon to claim three Grand Slam titles in a single year. In 73, 29-year-old King famously beat 55-year-old Bobby Riggs in the Battle of the Sexes, the year she also formed the Women's Tennis Association. That same year, King threatened to boycott the U.S. Open if the pay inequality wasn't addressed. Her demands were met, and the U.S. Open became the first major tournament to offer equal prize money for women and men. King's private life took center stage in 1981, when a former female personal assistant filed a lawsuit against King and threatened to release their love letters. King held a press conference and became the first prominent female athlete to publicly announce her homosexuality. King lost some endorsements, but became a torchbearer for the LGBT community. She divorced her husband in 1987. King served as captain of the U.S. team at the 96 and 2000 Summer Olympics. And in 2014, as part of the U.S. delegation for the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia, King spoke out against Russia's anti-gay legislation.